Most of the products that we purchase and return end up in a landfill or burned. As an alternative, some companies are auctioning defective and damaged items to people like us for super cheap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got an amazing deal on what I think are some amazing brands, but how much of this stuff is still gonna be wearable and what is this box actually worth? Hi, hopefuls. Thanks for joining me today. I found this listing for us online and it says, in the description, items are from an online warehouse, so we don't know exactly what store they're from. Condition will range from customer returns used and damaged and defective, which sounds scary, but like I'm looking through these pictures and this stuff looks nice. I mean, on this, swimsuit it looks like maybe that front zipper's broken but it looks like really high quality stuff like look at these coats or some of these dresses oh yes oh my goodness levi's this is so cute okay so where's the defect though ah there it is there's a gash in the sleeve okay i feel like that is salvageable because that is a nice coat okay i found some similar ones and they're all a hundred dollars or more not a bad first item we've got 59 things in this box this website that i get stuff from is set up online auction style there were two other people bidding no they're bidding me up. Okay, okay, 250. But we got it. So we won for $270. Shipping was $85. And after fees, the grand total is $387.66, which comes out to $6.50 per item. I would say this is worth more than $6.50, but after we open everything, we're gonna total it all up and see what it's all really worth. I think this is another coat. Ooh, this one still has the tag on it. Sam Edelman. Oh yeah, that's a great brand. Is it? It's an extra small. Okay, what's wrong with it though? It's gotta be the zipper. I think the zipper's missing. I feel like that's pretty easy of a fix though. Next. Oh, I think this is the dress from the pictures. Top shop. Ties. This is a cute dress. Ah, the button is all that's missing. Okay, we can find a new button. Ah, here's the swimsuit. Yep. Missing zipper on this one as well. Might just have to like rip out the whole zipper and replace it, but. It's Nicole Miller. Dang, it was $100 and they marked it all the way down to 18. Can a seamstress just like put a new zipper on? I think so. Next, this looks sparkly. <gasps> Calvin Klein sweater dress. Oh, that's pretty. $119. Oh, there's a hole in the neck. That I feel like I could fix that. <laughs> that's not bad. I was so nervous for this. I really thought we were gonna be getting like trashed items, but this is looking pretty good. <gasps> sweaty Betty. So many of you have recommended this Sweaty Betty brand to me. There's some stains. Is that, is that all though? I feel like we can throw this in the wash and it will be good to go. What the heck is this? Christmas stocking? <laughs> okay, this looks like it's a bodysuit from Topshop and it has like some cute corset detailing. The only thing I think that's wrong with this is there's some deodorant on it. I've always wondered that though. If someone tries something on at a store and gets like makeup or deodorant on it, what do they do with it? So this is another one that we literally just have to wash it and it's perfectly wearable. What the heck is this? Baby bottoms? Oh, giant hole. I mean, I think that one could still be sewn. Take off the whole turtle neck part so i feel like this one needs full reconstructing another sweater 98 dollars. yeah there's some snags on this that's pretty easily fixable right okay this looks like a swimsuit literally nothing's wrong with it i wonder if like the bottoms that it goes with are missing or something this one looks fine the straps are intact there's no stains maybe it went on the inside of another dress and the rest of that dress is missing for some reason button up shirt i'm gonna bet a button missing. No, all the buttons are here. Ah, makeup or tan. Just barely. <laughs> this one, they didn't even bother to take off the hanger. Um, oh, the bottoms are missing. <laughs> Another sweater. This one says damaged. Okay, where's the damage? Oh, oh no. Yeah, it totally got like swiped. Yeah, I guess it does look pretty bad, huh? A tiny dress. French connection polo top. What's wrong with it? I don't know. I don't see anything wrong yeah, with it. Used. And maybe that's the thing is people just return stuff that's clearly already been worn so they can't put it back on the shelf. Oh, it's like a little, is it a dress or a romper? It's a dress. With some side cutouts. That's cute. What's wrong with it? It's just like dirty. Yeah. Wow, this is actually a really cute design. I feel like it would be cuter on somebody shorter than me because it's kind of an awkward length. I was thinking once I put it on, maybe I'd find something wrong with it, but I'm not. My stomach is growling so loud. 
How many people are wearing it to an event and then returning it? Is like this a common thing? Yeah, that's why they now do those giant tags like right on the leg that say, you can't return this after you take this tag off. Ooh, I like this fabric. Oh, these are pants. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a huge snag in the butt. Dang, that's too bad because I love this material. There's gotta be something somebody could like remake out of this fabric. Oh my gosh, why is this so gross? <laughs> it looks like it fell behind a display rack or something oh. and was just collecting dust for months. I mean, this is one that it can just be washed and it'll be fine. <gasps> Vince Camuto. Is the zipper broken though? I can't get it to go up. I'm a professional. You are a professional at zippers. So thanks a lot guys for leaving this on here. I think if you cut these two pieces of thread off, you're gonna be There's just, just thread caught in the zipper. Yeah. Looks like a little romper. Oh, we got a note on this one. Broken clasp. Okay, where? Just that? Easy, easy fix. Another bodysuit. Oh, we've got another makeup. Even says that. Worn, damaged. Should wash right out though. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And all it needs is for the strap to be sewn back on. That would have been such an easy fix and then to put it back on the rack, but $165. Their losses are gain. What is happening though? This goes over your head. Oh, and that goes down the back. Oh, that's a really cute design actually. Can it be fixed? Not really. I like these tags that just tell me what's wrong so I don't have to guess. <laughs> Customer swapped, oh no. Is that like when people buy something and then put the tag on one of their old items and return it? That's so messed up. Zella, oh. I mean, that's still a fun hat if you just took this part off. All right, another sweater dress, it looks like. Honestly, I think this is a perfectly good dress. I do not see anything wrong with it. Cardigan, we got a snag on the bottom there. Is that it? Is that literally it? I think we could just trim that off and it would be okay. Oh no, ah, what did they do to that? It's a so bad they one. Had a really big zit that popped on there. Gross, back. no. And they only marketed it down $10, are you kidding me? Oh, jeans, shorts from Topshop. Oh no, <laughs> they have a big rip in a spot that you do not want to rip though. Can that be sewn? We might have to completely restruct these ones. <laughs> Reconstruct. <laughs> these feel like skims bottoms. Kick it, never heard of them. There's not even a piece missing to these ones. Oh, that's a cute t-shirt, has sharks on it. Two piece missing. This looks super worn. It's a hoodie. Ah, they even marked. I wonder if someone returned it and it's just in rough shape. Who accepted this as a return? <gasps> Are these sweat overalls? Yes, <laughs> these look so comfy. Uh oh, I think the strap is broken though. That's pretty easy though. It just needs to be re -sewn. Got some tiny leather pants. They're so small, are you kidding me? <laughs> What's wrong with them? Oh no, total blowout. <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, but I feel like this leather fabric could be reused. This looks nice, whatever it is. Oh, it's a dress. No, it's a romper. Leather with a zipper down the back. Yeah. Oh no, I see the issue. <laughs> It's like somebody stabbed their heel through the bottom of it. You know what though? Because it's so long, I bet you can cut it off right where that hole is and it would be a pretty good romper for somebody that's shorter. Ooh, mesh. I like whatever this is. Oh no, what is happening? I mean, this is just the like hanger strap though. So if that's all that's wrong with it, it just like looked bad on the rack. So they wanted to get rid of it. $79 dress. Ooh, I still don't see anything wrong with it. Maybe I'll just keep this one for myself. Oh my gosh, cute. Oh no, I love that. It's a little skirt, but it is done for. Big rip right there. Ugh. Oh my gosh, is that blood? Gosh. Oh no, I think it's this. Oh, no way. Oh, that scared me. I thought somebody, oh. Dang, this was a nice shirt too. It's a, a Hugo Boss shirt. They were still trying to sell it. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> no. What was it marked down to? $15. There's just no way to get this stuff out, I don't think. A dress. Dang, $100 dress. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it was only marked 30% off, so maybe it just wasn't selling, so they threw it in here. <gasps> Free people, what is it? Ooh. <gasps> Wait, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, $298. Got these buttons, those are intact. I mean, that thing's attached, which is annoying. I think I'll have to put it on to investigate. Okay, this is so pretty, but I think I figured out what's wrong with it. There's buttons right here 
but this whole seam underneath the buttons is ripped. But I think it could be an easy fix for somebody that knows how to sew. All the beading and stuff is intact. And it has pockets. It's a, oh, the zipper is done for on this one. Fully ripped down the seam. This is that Adriana Popel brand again. It has like meshy polka dot sleeves and we just have a button loop that's broken. I think this is a shirt, but I don't really know what's going on with it. Oh, there's some holes in it. Can you see it? But I feel like this material could be used. Very velvety. Oh, it's a bodysuit. That's cute. Is it a zipper? I bet it's the zipper. It sure is. Yeah, I think we have to replace the entire zipper on this one. That's really cute once it's fixed. Okay. Last but not least. Oh my gosh. Originally $418. Wow. Okay. What the heck is that thing? The shoulder pad? <laughs> Oh, it looks like it's snagged in quite a few spots. Oh, it's a mess. Oh no. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, you can see where the bead just got completely ripped off. It probably got caught on like another dress or something. Even this fabric on the inside, this like silky purple. Something can be done, I think. Oh my goodness, this is pretty though. I feel like I need to be a lounge singer or something in this dress. <laughs> I mean, from a distance, can you really even tell that it's broken? No. <laughs> this dress deserves a second chance somehow, whether it's ripping it apart or I don't know, maybe someone will want it just as is. It's so pretty though. A handful of items I'm just donating. These are all the easy fix items. So things that just need a new button, a new zipper or a quick stitch. And these total up to $1,792. I had a few people reach out that are interested in reworking some clothes. So that is who all of this stuff is going to. And there's $882 worth of stuff in here. I'm excited to see what you guys make. This is the stuff that's all in great condition. Maybe some of it just needs to be washed, but there's $805 here. Bringing us to a grand total of $3,479. I would call this haul a win. Well, if you're gonna watch another video, you might as well hit the subscribe button because we are trying to pass Kim Kardashian in YouTube subscribers. And when we do, I'm gonna buy you something from her closet. Leo and I picked out some other videos that we thought you might enjoy. If you haven't watched all of my returns mystery boxes or my lost luggage videos, definitely check those out. And we will see you guys over in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.